Hey guys, this is Foot and Spy. Today we're gonna check out the game called Earthfall. From what I've read and seen, basically a Left 4 Dead clone. And I have to admit, with its own ideas. Uh, look guys, copying ideas from other games, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Other games do it all the time, and sometimes the result can be amazing. Taking the best things from one game, mixing it up, improving on them. Or it can turn out to be a complete mess. So let's see what the developers have to say about the game. When the Earth falls to an extraterrestrial invasion, humanity becomes an endangered species. Earthfall is a four-player cooperative shooter that challenges players to survive hordes of ruthless alien drones and their inscrutable masters. Traverse the Pacific Northwest with friends or AI teammates in a desperate guerrilla war against an invading extraterrestrial force. Fight against the ever-changing horde and save what's left of humanity. Earthfall Invasion. Right, guys, let's see if we can get a game going. Fine game, campaign. Alright, alright, so far is good. Campaign 1, Invasive Species. So far, I quite like the menu screen. Looking pretty nice. Oh, three bot players. So, I guess the game is dead then, right? 13 in game right now, on the 6th of March. So, that explains a lot. Yeah, it's dead, no new content. Uh, alright, alright. Guess we're gonna play with bots then. So, there are only two campaigns. Seems a little bit uh, on the short side, but whatever. Right, difficulty intense, because uh, Fultan Spy ain't no bitch. There's nobody left Ooh, here what do we got here? We have to uh, barricator. Alright, that's a pretty cool idea. That's what I always want in Left 4 Dead. A way to barricade doors, uh, windows and stuff. To be a little bit more reinforced from zombies. Oh! Zapper! It's kind of like a fast version of the boomer, I suppose. Just like a... Vomit or blood, whatever it is. Oh, we already got an incapped person. Right, yeah, here they call it down, but basically it's the same thing. I'm gonna carry this barricator with me. Seems like a good idea. Treasure. Um, I guess that's supposed to be the hunter. Alien version of the hunter. Oh, I don't have the required item to pick up my barricade again, damn it. Uh, the AI isn't too great. If they're aliens, they're supposed to be like some super intelligent being, but so far what I can see, not really. Danny, you idiot. So, what do we got here? Kind of a puddle with green goo. Seems to be some sort of a nest where the aliens spawn from. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. Oh, obviously I shouldn't jump in it. Poisonous. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, oh, a whiplash grab me? No, that's actually oh my god, grab me by the head. <laughs> And it's going to his little pal to uh, mess me up. Alright. Too bad the game doesn't have a verse mode. Imagine playing a whiplash in verses. Man, that would be fucking amazing. Grabbing enemies by the head. Dropping them in the pool with aliens. And watch them get fucked up. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Well, this is not good. This is not good. This uh, enrager thing messed us up pretty badly. Come on, help me up, help me up. I'm dead, I'm dead, nice. Right. Roy's down, we need him up. <laughs> oh, poor guy, Roy. He just passed out on my body. <laughs> my god. I can't move. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> you can't move because I'm stuck inside of your body, Roy. <laughs> can't you see that? <laughs> wow. There's a, swarm There's a swarm coming. 
and Jonas is just standing there, totally froze up. I guess he's scared. Scared of the aliens. My god. Jonas! Why are you not attacking? You idiot! Ah, uh, nah, yeah, failure. Failure. These bots, though, they're just too stupid. Wow. Right, so far, what I can see in the game, it does quite a lot of activating switches, activating power, and then a horde comes and you defend the area. Yeah, it's, it's the same level for that, but in this game, it's a little bit too much in the way that it becomes uh, cumbersome, if you know what I mean. It becomes uh, tedious. Gun here. Right, you can activate switches, but having to do it like five, six times in the game, it becomes a little bit too much. Do you read us? Right, we're back Get at the level we played in the first part of the video. We actually did a quick play, and that placed us in the Perfect final back. part of the second campaign, called Extermination. So now, we're gonna try to finish it, place difficulty on easy, so we can actually no, no, see what no, happens on the end. Don't give up. We'll Get to play with all the tools of the game, and actually make it to the end. My guess in this part of the campaign, the ending, we're gonna have to find a way to take out the aliens at the source. And that's probably why it's called extermination. We have to find a cart and some drilling equipment, so let's switch off to that part of the game. Right, the final drill, placed on the mining cart, and now we get to move on. Use the crane to move the cart. Alright, alright. There we go. Activate the minecart. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Right. We're driving through a very narrow corridor. A very confined space. That's only a recipe for disaster. Oh. Plenty of bad guys coming. All the aliens want a piece of us. They want a piece of the action. A whiplash! Oh, I got him. Oh, we actually have uh, the tank fellow. Or whatever they call it here. Beast. Ah, right, beast. He's shooting fire at us. And we got nowhere to go. Two down. Oh my god. And this is supposed to be easy. <laughs> I guess if you're getting ganged up on a bunch of enemies and the beast, yeah, then you're pretty much fucked. Right, we collected two more drills, restored the power to an area, fought off some hordes, and now we have to rally in the elevator. This should be a safe place. Found a weapon. Hey! Maya, what the hell are you doing? Get in the elevator! Oh why, my god. Survive the swarm. They're coming up the shaft. We're in the elevator, pal. We're safe. They can't get to us. Nice, nice. Or maybe the elevator is actually a very bad place to be when aliens are swarming you. Oh, they're coming in from above. Oh. <laughs> wow, really? They're just feeding. Feeding like Overwatch in bronze. My god, these idiots. Luckily, they're only the small fellows, the fragile ones. Imagine if the beast comes here. We need more drills to destroy the shards. I'm already getting sick of collecting these drills. My god. Right, we have to place these drills on these shard things. And I'm guessing destroying the shards. From reproducing or laying eggs or whatever it stops them from having the power to reproduce basically the last thrill has been successfully defended from the swarms of aliens tell ye now we get a go leave that chopper get away from this place Oh, one last swarm! 
One last final stand. Luckily I've got this fucking badass minigun. Shoot the clasp? What the hell is a clasp? What the hell is this clasp thing we have to shoot? Oh, I guess it's this alien reproduction system or whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We did it! Alright, now everyone! Get to the chopper! Escape these motherfucking bitches! Yep, there we go. We did it guys. We survived the final part of the campaign on easy. And we did it. Hell yeah. Well, my opinion on this game, I guess the mixed review on Steam is uh, quite accurate. It's fun game. But even for my playtime, which is in total about 2 hours, I found all the collecting drills and other stuff, activating power, turning switches, I found it to be quite tedious. I mean, the gun shooting is fun, melee combat is fun, graphically it looks very good, but it gets old quite fast. And the one thing that would fix that in my opinion is a versus mode, where you get to play versus real players against the aliens. You know, the weaker ones are like AI, and then you get the special aliens that you can play as. And the beast, of course, that will be awesome to play. Shooting these fireballs at the survivors, plus having very, very powerful melee attacks. But it's not gonna happen, guys. I read on the Steam discussions, actually the developer responded to someone's message. Uh, let's see. And they said, our primary focus is to make a great co-op game, in which, in my opinion, I think they succeeded. Uh, but our enemies were not designed to have player control. How would one control a beast or a blackout and keep everything balanced? It would be a huge undertaking to make sure it was fun and balanced. It will be a lot of work, but it's not impossible. And if you want to keep the game alive, I think that's what the game needs. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you think about the game. Have you played it? Did you like it or not? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video.